Hello, Tony Burke here again with uh, screencast number five in our series for construction studies students at the University of Westminster to introduce them to Revit 2014. This is actually a very brief screencast because all we're going to do in this one is um, install our ground floor. Uh, okay, let's go into the software then. Uh, and this is where we left off at the end of the last screencast. You'll recall that we um, uh, installed uh, the walls all the way around the perimeter of our building and we also put a foundation underneath our walls. Okay, let's then go into a floor plan, floor plan view and we're going to go to ground floor level. So we can see uh, on there um, the position of our external walls. You'll notice that the external walls um, don't really show up much detail. That's because the level of detail that's currently set is at what's known as a coarse level. If we go down to the bottom of the screen, this bar along here is known as the view control bar. And one of the options there, which I'm pointing at now, uh, indicates the detail level. As, as I say, it's currently set at coarse. But if I click on that, it comes up with a number of options. So if I change it from coarse to fine, immediately you can see that the amount of detail that's present on our plan is much greater. So it actually shows the individual leaves of the wall and the cavity in between. So let's leave it at that for the moment. We're now going to add in our ground floor. So in order to do that, we go up to the architecture tab on the ribbon at the top. We select floor. That takes us into a whole new range of options in our properties palette. Currently it's set as a beam and block suspended ground floor but if we click on that down arrow there we can see what the other options are. There are four options there. I want a ground bearing concrete slab with insulation over. So let's click on that. Um, let's have a closer look at the precise makeup of that floor construction. So if we click on edit type in the properties palette, a new um, dialog box opens up and in the construction under structure, there's a button there that I can click on where it says edit. I click on that and that shows us in detail the makeup of this floor. I'm gonna change this around a little bit just to give us a slightly slimmer floor. So currently the finish is concrete or it says sand and cement that's effectively the screed and it's set at a thickness of 65 millimeters it may sound like a small adjustment but i'm actually going to change that to 60 millimeters the amount of uh, thermal insulation is currently set at 90 millimeters i'm going to leave it at that the structure is concrete so it's a it's a reinforced concrete uh, slab currently set at a thickness of 125 millimeters I'm going to make that 100 millimetres. OK, uh, if we carry on further down, we've then got these bottom two layers referred to as substrate. What that actually is, is the, the hard core with a sand blinding over. I'm going to change the blinding to 25 mil thick, and I'm going to change the hard core bed to 125 mil thick. So the overall uh, hard core bed with blinding is actually 150. So if I click OK, that now shows us that the overall thickness of our floor construction is 400 millimeters, and I think that's more appropriate for what we want. OK, so we'll click OK on there. Um, in order to install our floor, uh, all we need, all we actually need to do is to select the walls within which we want the floor to lay. So we simply go around, select one wall, select the second wall, the third wall, and the fourth wall. When we're confident that we've enclosed the space where we want our ground floor to be positioned, we click on the tick at the top. It states a warning then. It says that the, the, the floor overlaps the highlighted walls do I want the geometry to cut the overla that overlapping volume out of the walls? Well, my answer to that is no. So the, the blue area there represents the floor slab which we've just installed. But of course, on plan, uh, we can't actually see a lot. And even if we look on the 3D view, uh, 
we can see that the floor is actually there in blue even looking at it from the underside but we can't actually see how it relates to the walls in order to see it better I think we need a section so let's go back into our ground floor level and let's position a section so we're going to create a new view so we go into the view tab at the ribbon at the top and we select section and the, our crosshair appears again and all we have to do is effectively draw a line where we want our section to run now I want, I want a section simply to run uh, on our screen vertically in that sort of position there so I click on one side of the bungalow I drag the line down so it cuts through the whole bungalow I click again I hit enter and I've now created a section view and if I go over to the project browser scroll down open up the menu for sections by clicking on that little plus and there sure enough is a new section view so I double click on that and it's created a section through that um, structure it shows the external walls which we built in the last screencast our foundation and the floor that we've just put in now again you can see that the level of detail that's visible on uh, this section is not great so if we go down to our view control bar we select the detail level click on that select fine and now we can actually see our foundations in greater detail the external walls in greater detail and our floor structure we can also see in this section view the position of our levels that we uh, established way back in the third screencast so um, the top of the wall lines up with that particular level and other parts of the section line up with their respective level lines so really that's it for the moment uh, that as I say was a very brief screencast um, if we go back into the 3D view there again we can see where we currently are much more clearly uh, we put our foundations in we've got our external wall and we've got our floor slab in place so now we're ready in the next screencast to start adding in some detail within the building itself but for the moment 